Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four, and it looks like we have all movie titles. This is crazy. So we've got Dumbo, E.T., My Left Foot, I don't know that movie, Dogma, uh, The Green Mile, Beetlejuice, Wall Street, Kill Bill, Chinatown, I have not seen, Fright Night, I haven't seen, Foxy Brown, I haven't, Hedwick, and The Angry, Angry Inch. I'm guessing that has nothing to do with Harry Potter. Octopussy, that's one of the um, uh, James Bond films, right? The Longest Yard, Be Kind, Rewind, and Manhattan. Oh boy, um, is it? Are they all just related to like? Are we grouping movies together by genre? That seems a bit too straightforward. Um, I mean, I see Manhattan and Wall Street, right? Those are, I mean, Wall Street's in Manhattan, but we've also got Chinatown. So are these just like areas of New York, like Chinatown and Manhattan and Wall Street? Um. There isn't another one. Okay. Um, how, how do we do this one? Are we, are we thinking about the meaning of the words, or are we thinking about the movies? Beetlejuice. Hmm. Got to be careful not to uh, say that too many times. So if this requires movie trivia, I'm going to struggle. Okay, th this starts with beetle, which is an animal. So does dogma. Starts with dog. Are there other animal starts? Octopus. Hedwig is a. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say Hedwig is an owl. Um, Foxy Brown. Okay, so th these start with animals. Let's do that. Okay. Whoa, that was the purple. Okay, so that means I'm gonna do poorly on the rest of this because I thought that was the most straightforward of them. Um, the Green Mile. Hmm. Mile and yard and foot and inch are all measurements. Okay, you don't have to know anything about the movies so far. Ending in units of measurement. Okay. Do we have, like, I still think it might be Chinatown, Wall Street, and Manhattan, but Be Kind Rewind, Fright Night, Kill Bill, all are rhyming, right? Kill and Bill rhyme, Be Kind Rewind. These are rhyming names. But Chinatown, E-T e -T rhymes. Wow, I didn't think about that. Rhyming titles. And then these are, well, areas of New York plus Dumbo. <laughs> what are they going for here? These are, these are movies? Places New York City. Okay, I just didn't know Dumbo was a place in New York City. Okay, where, where is Dumbo? Someone tell me. Um, you know what? In fact, I'll look it up. Dumbo, New York City. Okay, so Dumbo is an acronym for Down Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass and is a neighborhood in the New York City borough of Brooklyn. Okay. It encompasses two sections, one situated between the Manhattan and Brooklyn bridges, which connect Brooklyn and Manhattan across the East River, and another extending eastward from Manhattan Bridge to the Vinegar Hill area. I feel like that's, I don't know, is, is that something someone outside of New York would know? Um... Because they made that yellow, but they, I mean, it's the New York Times, so they live there, so they would know that. But I've never heard of that in my life. I assumed, I mean, Chinatown, Manhattan, Wall Street, everyone knows those. But Dumbo? All right, let me know. And of course, let me know how you did. Hello, let's do the New York Times mini crossword for Wednesday, June 12th. Let's go. Sharply turns one way, then turns the other way. Not sure. Wing it on stage. Mm, so like, um, what's the word for that? Uh, I'll, I'll come back to it. Cloth for covering cuts. Gauze? Is it with a Z? One of 500 in a ream of paper. Like a, like a leaf? I mean, it's paper. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Uh, things calculated at casinos. Odds? Sharply turns one way, then the other way. Still not sure. State ID and then a question mark. So this is a play on words for a state ID. Like a driver's license. I, I don't know what they're doing for there. Like those who can't pull their eyes away from the TV. Like a couch potato? Um, 
transfixed. <laughs> what, what word are they going for here? I hope gauze is right. Elevated with up. Jazzed? Jazzed up? I thought that would have two Zs in it. Would, would this really end in J? <laughs> would this really end in J? Uh, sharply turns one way. I think jazzed would have two Zs. That looks like jazed. Elevated with up. Uh, things placed at casinos. Um, slots? <laughs> oh, bets. Bets are placed at casinos. This ends in B? Wing it on stage. Oh, ad lib. Okay. Finally came to me. That B helped. All right. Sharply turns one way, then turns the other way. I got to figure out what this is. We have A, G here. But gauze? At least this ends in E. I don't know. We had zhuzh at one point. How was zhuzh spelled? I don't think it was spelled like this. <laughs> so I don't think it's zhuzh. Um, sharply turns one way, then turns the other way. Hmm. What about this one? One of 500 in a ream of paper. <laughs> I just call it paper. Um, what, what are we going for here? Um, state ID. Like those who can't pull their eyes away from the TV. I, I feel like, I don't know, what, el what else could be cloth for covering cuts? It is gauze. That, that's exactly what gauze is. I, I think this is going to end in ED at the very least. Um, shoot. Yeah, I'm struggling on this one for sure. I'm going to blame still being sick. I've got my tea here. Maybe tea will help. It's like a lemon ginger tea, and I put honey in it. All right. Um, like a leaflet, <laughs> but that definitely doesn't fit. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't. I'm thinking about checkering just to see if gauze is right, because I feel like gauze is getting in the way. So let's say it wasn't gauze. Let me remove that and see if that helps me with any of these other clues. Glued. Glued. That does actually think, make me think it's gauze. I don't know why removing the U helped me there. That's weird. Um, there's a G here, too. Zig. Oh, zigs, zags. Zigs and zags, okay, and a sheet of paper, and we did it, okay. I don't know why I didn't think of zigzags. Idaho. State ID, Idaho. Oh, ID, a ho. Oh, so it's a state with the uh, initials ID, I get it. Okay, that's pretty funny. Uh, sized, evaluated with up, you size someone up. Oh, did, did I read that as a different word? I don't know why I thought that would be zhuzh or jazzed. I, th I read it as elevated with up. It would have helped to uh, read that right as evaluated with up. Okay, yeah, I, I, did, <laughs> I did not do well today, but I didn't have to use the checker, so there's that. <laughs> How'd you do? Let's do strands for June 12th. Today's theme is by the dozen. So are these like bakery things, things you would buy by the dozen? You could also have things like hours, like right? anything that comes in groups of 12. Hmm. I'm looking for bakery first, but there's no bees, so it's not that. We've got a, like a jelly donut. Okay, so these are flavors of donuts then? Or, or, do we have donuts somewhere? Donuts. There we go. That is not how I spell donut. <laughs> um, clearly, everyone has the Ford flavor of donut. Um, Right. Are there like sprinkles? What are the what are the donut flavors? There's a Z here. Alright, let's let's see if we can just see something that looks recognizable. Or do I do I think of okay, maybe I should think of donut flavors. Frosted. There it is. Um did I say I said sprinkles. I I don't think I saw sprinkles. Um there's like apple ones, like apple fritters. I don't see apple. What's going on over here with this GK? Gak. Gak flavored. Um, <laughs> sounds, like a, sounds like a Klingon flavor of donut. Like, I feel like we're ending in a G A C K, but I can't think what does that. So I could be wrong. Like, what else does this do? Hmm. This is Z. All right, how about over here? D E R. Maybe we end in R E D. So, like, R E D. Um, e, e R E D. Not sure. Is, it, is this one or two? It could be two four-letter words, but it's probably one word. This H and R is interesting. I bet we end in ER. So does that mean we start with H? Or we could start with like CH, chocolate. 
Wait, how, no, not chocolate. Shawl leader. Does that ring any bells? <laughs> echo? Echo? <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, let's say it was two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it could be a four-letter word and a five-letter word. I miscounted last time. Um, share flavored. <laughs> Oh, uh, red something? Red, red velvet. Um, I can't figure it out. All right, I need to know if this is one or two words, so i, I got to figure out the rest of this then. Glazed. I see glazed. Oh, and then this is cake. Is it just cake, or is it like cake something? Let's just try cake. Okay. Powdered. So this is two words. Okay. So we got we to gotta find the four-letter word, probably. Elock. Hole, just a donut hole. Oh, and then cider. That was tough for some reason. I don't know why I didn't think of glazed earlier. Okay, so the types of donuts we've got cider, hole, frosted, jelly, cake, glazed, powdered. All right, what's your favorite donut? <laughs> um I like the I like the ones with the, the that are glazed but then have the chocolate layer on the top. I think those are my favorite. All right, how'd you do?